Well, hello, people. We're back with the project. Um, the renovation, it's not actually renovation, the um, modification uh, of the uh, GEC valve, vintage valve radio, uh, which is now missing all of its guts. And um, it's going to end up with this in there, which is a little Bluetooth module, an old laptop power supply. Um, and it's going to go into my friend's pub, I hope. Um, and might earn me a couple of beers. Uh, talking of beers, I love you Americans, you're absolutely awesome. But this is absolute rubbish, really. The only good thing about this, you can twist the top off. Right, whoops. <laughs> ah, right, okay. So, um, Inside here we have a single speaker. Uh, the PCB is stereo, so it would be nice to be able to put two speakers in there. Here's the other speaker. It's of a similar sort of size and ilk. There you go, bang, look at that, It'd be fantastic. The problem. None of my hole saws are big enough to make that hole the right size. It's going to have to be a jigsaw, isn't it? I'm just going to have to pull everything out and... Dan... Well, you best start pouring me beers and lining them up now, mate. Okay, uh, if you'll be kind enough to watch all the way to the end of this video, um, you'll see some of the stupid things that we do in England. Um, well, in fact, you're seeing a lot of stupid things that we do in England uh, right here on this show. But uh, you will see sheep racing, which um, I think you might find slightly amusing. So, uh, yeah, so go ahead and watch the sheep racing. In the meantime, uh, I'm waiting for the hot glue gun to warm up. Uh, because I couldn't find uh, the appropriate weird and funky sized English fasteners uh, to be able to mount mm, these things into holes that I've recently cut with a uh, with a jigsaw. Um, but yeah, uh, just uh, bear with us.
Well, well, well. So, laptop power supply, hot glued in, Bluetooth module, hot glued in, additional speaker, hot glued in, <laughs> original speaker, hot glued in, um, and up here, amazing, um, this is, uh, I didn't realise it, I thought this was plastic, but it's actually glass. And it's just a little wobbly, and I think it's going to rattle uh, if uh, if they start turning the power up. So um, it's going to get a bit hot glue. Um, the, the the finish to to get the the backboard and uh, put it on and cut a little hole uh, for the uh, for the power supply. But um, <laughs> we're nearly there. So, while you weren't looking, I've um, the piece of wood that I cut out of this thing, I'm going to reuse. Um, I've actually put a, uh, an LED strip over it, and uh, the plan is to mount it here so that it uh, lights up that lovely uh, glass display panel on the top. Um, should look pretty spectacular. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to keep going here if you don't mind. Alright, so knowing that, um, that this is a 12 volt uh, uh, LED strip and uh, knowing that I'm running 19 volts, um, I've decided to employ uh, the services of a 10 ohm resistor. Uh, so we'll just whack that in there real quick. So these uh, these uh, LEDs are um, are at the bright blue end of the spectrum. Um, so in order to try and dial that back, I'm going to use a red permanent marker and paint them over and see if that helps. All right, so here we are at the Frampton Sheep Racing event in the Shire in Gloucestershire. Absolute riot. Can you believe they're going to race some sheep for us today? Fantastic. Please! 
ladies and gentlemen, cheering, cheering along. Here they come, chef chasing them. So first over the first jump is the big Texel in the blue colours. The Texel in the blue, he's over, he looks very well. I'm coming over into the second, he's blue again. He's blue all Turn myself into a pickle. Morty, I'm, I'm pickle. Pickle Rick, pickle Rick. <laughs>